completely consistent. Formation of urine. Formation of urine. This is completed in three processes. Three processes or by three processes. The ultra filtration. Ultra filtration. Reabsorption. And stimulus secretion. Ultra filtration, reabsorption, and tubular secretion. The theme processes. Ultra filtration, it is defined as filtration under pressure. Filtration under pressure. प्रेशर क्यों डेवलप होता है क्या है ये भी डिस्कस करते हैं फिल्ट्रेशन अंडर प्रेशर इज नोन एज अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन रीअब्सॉर्प्शन एब्जॉर्प्शन और मूवमेंट और ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ यूजफुल सब्सटेंसेस Useful substances from renal tubules <coughs> and Nephric tubules and loop of Henle and loop of Henle into blood. Tubular secretion, uptake of it is defined as uptake of substances. Cells of nephric tubules, nephric tubules from blood and their release and their release. Into the filtrate. Into the filtrate. Filtrate me, dalga. Right. Now we talk about the sites. कहाँ कहाँ पर क्या क्या होता है? ये processes कहाँ कहाँ होते हैं? The first ultra filtration. The site. First process, the site is Bowman's capsule. Bowman's capsule. Bowman's capsule में ultra filtration होता है. Second, that is reabsorption. The site is PCT, loop of Henle, PCT. CT and CD. The CD क्या चीज़ है? Collecting duct. CT क्या चीज़ है? Collecting tubule. PCT, DCT and CT. These three are nephric tubules. The third tubule is secretion. The site is mainly 
the site is mainly ECT and BCT. <coughs> Moving on to the next page. Ultra filtration. Ultra filtration. ये होता क्या है ultra filtration? Women's capsule. As we have just as we studied earlier, there is a blood vessel of larger diameter entering into this cup-like structure, and there is a blood vessel of a smaller diameter exiting this structure. इसको हमने नाम दिया था एफेरेंट दिस इज इफेरेंट दिस इज इफेरेंट एफरेंट एंड एफरेंट आर्टीरियोल्स ठीक है अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन इज ड्यू टू दैट इज अगर इट अकर्स ड्यू टू differences in diameter differences in diameters of apparent and different arterioles एपेरेंट और इफरेंट आर्टिक्यूल्स में डिफरेंस की वजह से डायमीटर की डिफरेंस की वजह से अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन होता है देर वुड बी मोर ब्लड कमिंग इन टू दिस एरिया राइट बट दैसेज थ्रू विच द ब्लड वुड एग्जिट इज नैरो दिस कॉजेज एन आउटवर्ड प्रेशर एन आउटवर्ड प्रेशर towards the women's capsule the lumen of the women's capsule and this causes filtration right the pressure developed the pressure developed is called effective filtration pressure isme kya bolte hain effective filtration pressure effective filtration pressure this is calculated as efp is equal to effective filtration pressure is equal to ghp minus BCOP plus CHP. The full forms. P is always pressure in all the cases. Is the pressure. Effective filtration pressure is equal to now this is the glomerular hydrostatic pressure. Glomerular hydrostatic pressure. This is actually the pressure which develops due to differences in the diameters. Zada blood आता है कम निकलता है. In this area, in this area, the blood is forced is forced to flow at a slower rate. Static. Hydro, the blood, the blood. flows at a slow rate at a particular instance of time the pressure felt on the wall is known as the hydrostatic pressure 
which is which develops in the glomerulus hence it is known as glomerular hydrostatic pressure both okay. this this pcop is blood colloidal osmotic pressure ब्लड के कोलोइड्स की वजह से जो प्रेशर बाहर को लग रहा है ना जो अंदर को लग रहा है अब आप इसको माइनस करते हो आउटवर्ड प्रेशर इज द जी एच पी आउटवर्ड प्रेशर इज दी जी एच पी राइट द इनवर्ड प्रेशर द प्रेशर विच डेवलप समवेयर इन दी ग्लोमेरुलस इटसेल्फ व्हिच अपोजेस दिस प्रेशर एक्टिंग इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में जो लग रहा होता है ये एक बीसीओपी जो कि ब्लड में ही डेवलप हो रहा है कैप्सुलर हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर कैप्सुलर हाइड्रोस्टैटिक हाइड्रोस्टैटिक अब इस स्ट्रक्चर को थोड़ा सा मैग्निफाई करके देखते हैं दिस इज दूमेंट्स कैप्सूल मेटस ड्रॉ जस्ट वन कैपरी एक कैपरी दिस कैपरी हैज ब्लड द फर्स्ट प्रेशर दिस इज बीइंग डेवलप्ड On to the outside is the glomerular hydrostatic pressure. This pressure is GHP. The pressure developing in the blood itself, which is opposing this filtration, the pressure under go lag raha hai. This is BCOP. the pressure which is being the left which is developed by the fluid already present in the glomerulus ye yahan pe jo ye filtrate hai this filtrate would be opposing further entry of more fluid the aur zyada fluid ko andar aane se rokega ये जो प्रेशर लग रहा है इसे हम क्या बोलते हैं दिस इज दिस प्रेशर इज दी सी एच पी दिस इज ड्यू टू ब्लड क्लोइड्स ब्लड क्लोइड्स एंड द चीफ ब्लड क्लोइड इज दी एल्बुम द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ब्लड क्लोइड इज दी एल्बुम ब्लड प्रोटीन ब्लड प्रोटीन एप्सिलर हाइड्रोस्टेटिक प्रेशर ड्यू टू फिल्ट्रेट ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट In the capsule, the BCOP. Understanding of this BCOP. Let this be the wall of the capillary. This wall of the capillary has windows, fenestra. It is a capillary. It has the blood. And on this side, let us suppose there is filtrate. Is that for the Bowman's capsule? Yes, sir. Now, the edges of these windows are negatively charged. Look at the edges. The windows 
are negatively charged. The albumin also has negatively charged, negative charge. Let this be the albumin protein. Even this has negative charge. This will be negative charge. So this negative charge, negative charge repels each other. This albumin would be forced due to an outward pressure that is glomerular hydrostatic pressure towards the wall, towards the window, but it is repelled back. This repelled back. So the cut area that I under. जिसकी वजह से छोटे-छोटे जो पार्टिकल्स हैं आयंस छोटे-छोटे मॉलिक्यूल्स जो हैं वो इससे टकरा के विंडो से दूर हो जाते हैं स्मॉलर पार्टिकल्स वुड बी पुश्ड टुवर्ड्स द इनसाइड एंड प्रिवेंटेड फ्रॉम फिल्ट्रेशन Next page. Capillary. Capillary to window. What do you think of the albumin? This albumin. It comes close to the window. But it is repelled back. This happens because of the negative charge on the window and the negative charge on the protein. <clears throat> the returning back albumin molecule, the molecule which is moving now from the wall towards the inside. Now this is moving back because of this repulsion. It stops various molecules, it strikes the surface of various molecules and these various molecules are also prevented from filtration. In ko bhi lag jata hai, ye andar ko chale jate hai. Smaller molecules Smaller molecules are prevented, even though they would be having opposite charge, are prevented from filtration. The filtration may be by right? This pressure, this pressure of the albumin towards these molecules, this pressure is blood colloidal osmotic pressure. The substances which would have meanwhile come out there may put substances which in opening se nikal gaye the but in go now these are forced towards the inside by the fluid which is already present in the condensed capsule, the filtrate. The filtrate exerts a pressure. And this pressure is the capsular hydrostatic pressure. EFP ranges from 15 to 20 and then off the key. The GHP higher pressure to lower pressure, 60 to 6, 65 to 60 mm of Hg. The 
the BCOP is relatively constant because the colloidal composition of the blood does not alter frequently. Blood में जो colloids हैं, उनकी concentration बार बार change नहीं होती. What varies, which is highly variable, is CHP. It is highly For example, let us take the higher value, 65, 65 minus 30 plus x CHP is equal to the highest pressure, 20. x की वैल्यू क्या आ जाएगी? 65 माइनस 30, 35. इसकी वैल्यू कितनी होगी? 15. Right? CHP और बिकम 15. 65 माइनस 30 बस x is equal to 15. तो x would be 20. आप अलग अलग वैल्यूज को सब्सिट्यूट करके अगर आप देखो तो इसकी वैल्यूज काफी चेंज हो जाती है इफ दिस बिकम्स इन दिस केस इफ दिस बिकम्स 60 राइट दिस वुड बिकम 20 सीएचपी की वैल्यू अल्टर करती है इवन दिस डजंट अल्टर much because this depends upon the systolic pressure. ये भी किसी इस पे depend कर रहा है। एक तो difference इसमें diameter पे depend कर रहा है और दूसरी चीज़ it also depends upon also depends upon systolic pressure और भी blood pressure आप सीधा सीधा देखो whatever the blood pressure is there उस pressure पे depend कर रहा है। ये रेंजेस आपको याद रखनी है 15 टू 20, 60 टू 65 टू 60 इसमें कोई रेंज नहीं है ये वेरी वेरी करता है बार बार वेरी करता है दिस इस अबाउट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन एंड द प्रेशर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर दिस द सेकंड प्रेशर प्रोसेस सेकंड प्रोसेस इस Tubular reabsorption or reabsorption. From PCT. From PCT. Maximum absorption of solutes 90%. Occurs here. Nephric filtrate में से 90% solutes यहाँ पे remove कर दिए जाते हैं. 75% of the water, 75% of the water present in the PCT filtrate of PCT is removed, is absorbed. Such a solution would be hyper hypertonic solution. So this removes the PCT removes hypertonic solution. PCT removes hypertonic solution. Right. So the, so the filtrate, the filtrate entering into the into the loop of Henle, into the loop of Henle would be relatively in comparison to this, it would be relatively hypotonic. In this comparison, it would be hypotonic. This is the site for obligatory water reabsorption. Site for obligatory 
water reabsorption. And let this be the PCT. The hormone aldosterone acts over here. Aldosterone acts upon PCT and DCT both. <coughs> Just discussing about PCT. Aldosterone hormone acts. Now this aldosterone hormone, it would influence the pumps and would cause the exit of sodium ions. Sodium ions are absorbed actively. The result is chloride ions follow. Hence the water comes out. Along with this sodium, with any positive glucose amino acids are absorbed amino acids be absorbed <clears throat> now this water absorption which is forced to come out this water which is forced to come out of the PCT This absorption is known as obligatory water absorption. This is obligatory water reabsorption. As it is forced to come out. It is forced to exit. Next page. Reabsorption in loop of end. Henry is loop. The loop of Henry has two parts. The thin segment continues into the ascending limb, two third part of the ascending limb. And then the thick segment arises. segment is right. As soon as the filtrate begins to enter into the loop of Henry, it begins to lose water. It begins to lose water. But why would it lose water? This is because of the action of this thick segment. This thick segment is impermeable to water. This thick segment is impermeable to water. Water does not flow out. From this segment, fluoride ions are moved actively outside. Abhi humne tha, sodium actively moved here. Yaha par fluoride actively moved karta hai. Fluoride is transported actively towards the outside. The result is sodium follows. So NaCl is removed. You can say NaCl is removed. Right. Now this NaCl it begins to accumulate in this area. In this area, NaCl. 
begins to like you know around this part this region around this region and is here begins to accumulate right this region the ascending limb it also releases urea to the outside इसमें से और क्या निकलता है यूरिया भी निकलता होता है यहां से यूरिया भी निकलता है एनएसीएल और यूरिया इस एरिया को कंसेंट्रेट कर देते हैं this part outside the part outside the loop of henle and if you remember collecting duct was also there collecting duct is actually a, the part of medulla part of medullary pyramid this part is called the medullary interstitium medullary interstitium and because of the activity of the ascending limb of loop of henle and collecting duct also interstitium it becomes hypertonic becomes hypertonic ascending limb se sodium chloride nikla urea bhi nikla right hence aur iski wajah se kya hota hai hence this the descending limb begins to absorb water this is basically by simple diffusion descending limb mein aur aisa kuch nahi ho raha hota अगर बाहर कंसेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन है कंसेंट्रेटेड एनवायरमेंट है तो यहां से वाटर अपने आप निकल जाएगा यहां से वाटर अपने आप निकल जाएगा goes into the interstitium now in this case if you observe the movement of the filtrate is in opposite direction here the filtrate is moving in downward direction niche ko aa raha hai in this case the filtrate is moving upwards isiliye ise ascending limb bolte hain this is the ascending limb and this one is the descending limb descending limb mein filtrate niche ja raha hota hai ascending limb mein upar ja raha hota hai this constitutes the counter flow what is counter flow counter flow movement in opposite direction movement in opposite direction the movement of the filtrate in opposite direction ulta is tarah se jaega 
यहां से फिल्टरेट डीसीटी में एंटर कर जाएगा नेक्स्ट पेज I simply draw loop of end like this. Right. Now this is the Riemann of the loop of end, the cavity in which the filtrate is moving. This is the thick segment, which is the thick segment, right? Filtrate is moving downwards, and then. It begins to move upwards. The counter flow. Now in this area, there is a blood vessel. This blood vessel is known as vas recta. This blood vessel is known as the vas recta. 